I'm ready to have this round caterpillar transformed into a nice, lovely contoured butterfly. It's date night. And we're putting our faces in the hands of professionals. We're going to three different makeup counters to see who can make me feel like the Beyonce to my Jay-Z. It's ladylike, and we're getting beauty counter makeovers. My typical date night look has gotten really bronzy and neutral. A smoky eye. I usually spend a lot of time on my hair. I try and look like Tracy Ellis Ross. I don't like lipstick. My goal today is to find a really pretty eye look that I can do on my own. Well, I would like to look cool and polished and like retro and beautiful without like just a crayon full of lip liner. Look contoured without looking like I have a bunch of makeup on. Is that possible? Let's do this thing! Hi, I'm John Stapleton, senior artist for MAC Cosmetics. And here at MAC, our slogan is all races, all ages, all sexes. So I'm excited to meet Kristen today. Here she's engaged, which is great. This is the exploration stage of the relationship. So let's have a little fun. So I hear you're engaged and I hear you're I having am. a date night. I am. Oh, amazing. We are gonna go out to dinner and dancing. I mean, I like the vintage look, but yes. I think that like really anything is new on me because I don't try a lot of things. Okay, perfect. <laughs> What do you typically like for coverage? I like, honestly, just to, you know, trick everyone into thinking I don't have like, a very red face. I don't think you look terribly red, but what I will do is put a little bit of primer, and that'll help combat some redness. So the apple of the cheek really should get a little color. Mm -hmm. Let's talk eyebrows. Let's okay. get into eyebrows. I think because I wear glasses, I don't really focus on my eyes so no. much. They tend to be sort of an afterthought. Now to me, when you're wearing glasses, I actually focus a little bit more on your eyes. I'm just using the lightest color in the top of the palette there just to kind of pop a little bit of brightness in the center of the lid. I think a winged liner would be really beautiful. I've never done that before. Really? No. All right, so Hot and Naughty Mascara mm -hmm. has like the purple and the pink. The purple one has a lot of mascara. The pink side pulls off about 50% of the mascara, so you have very little. That one? Let's just do it. Let's do the hot pink. Are you ready to see, actually I'm see? I'm so ready. I'm ready okay. to actually see. Okay. I hope oh you like god. it. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my goodness. Like, I feel like my eyes aren't like lost in like the woods. Right. They feel like they're actually a part of my face. It feels like me, but like plus two. Thank you so much. My pleasure. This has been so fun. Thanks for me to be a part Thank of, your, you. of your date night with you and your guy. My name is Jasmine. I'm the lead trainer here at Blushington. And our motto here is feeling pretty is priceless, whether that be a super natural look or a super glam look for you guys. So today on Candace, we're gonna be doing a date night look. And what I like to keep in mind with date night is just picking one feature and really amping it up. What do we have in mind today? I think something really kind of like badass. <laughs> and, uh, a little edgy? Yeah, a little edgy, a little like cool. contouring. We're gonna start on your eyes first. Oh. And you kind of want to give it a little set first with powder. So that way you have a nice, even, smooth texture. I feel like I'm gonna look like a bronze Grecian goddess. So I'm gonna come in with the super metallic gold now. Whoa, it's like that one dude in the Terminator. <laughs> this is my favorite product ever. That's amazing. Yeah, it's super, super metallic. So then we'll line the top of her eye, and I'm gonna use our Stila Black Smudge Pot. So I'm just using an Evelyn foundation on her right now, which is a really nice, light feeling foundation, but it'll still give you a good amount of coverage. Oh my God, it feels like a teddy bear. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna kind of bronze and contour you. So the best type of color to use for this is a matte color. So if it's too shimmery, then that's when we start to look a little too glowy. I'm gonna get lashes, I'm so excited. I've never had false eyelashes on before. You ready to see? I think so. Alrighty, I'm gonna take a look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look like airbrush, I look like a doll. Are you the goddess you always wanted to I'm be? a goddess right now. <laughs> I'm like Athena. I feel so good, thank you so much. Of course, You're awesome. of course. Hi, I'm Virginia Franklin and I work at Sephora at the Grove LA. So today I'm going to be working with Freddie. I think for a date night, if your complexion is on point and is looking glowy and gorgeous and pretty, your everything else kind of falls into place. 
So where are you going today? We're going out to dinner. Yeah. I kind of like run away from like eyeshadows and stuff just because like I don't even know where to start. Okay. So I'd love to sort of like have the eyes be the focal point. I love this foundation. It just gives a softness to the skin. So this is a first date. It's with my boyfriend. I just want to, you know, spice it up. And then I wanted to do a really pretty, like, poppy blush. So I grabbed Makeup Forever is number 820. Do you use an eyeshadow primer when you put on eyeshadow? I don't put on eyeshadow. So we're taking this plummy purple color, and we're concentrating the outer corner. And I'm excited for Paul to see it. He pretty much likes anything that I like. He'll like it. He'll like it. Anastasia, she has the new brow definer, dark brown. In order for me not to feel crusty, I have to fill in my brows. <laughs> <laughs> the pencil feels great, it feels like velvet. So I'm gonna have you curl your eyelashes. Definitely, it really opens up the eyes. That's where you really wanna deposit a lot of your mascara, is right at the base. If I do use lip liner, should I be overlining my lips? You already have really pretty full lips, so I just wanna bring out your natural beauty, your natural lip. So take a look at your look. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You look I really like absolutely it. gorgeous. I like it a lot. I'm obsessed with my eyes. Your eyes look beautiful. Yeah. You think your boyfriend's gonna be like, wow. I think he's really gonna <laughs> like it. He's gonna be like, oh. Awesome. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. It was such a pleasure. So my experience at MAC was magical. He made me feel super confident. I feel like I could rule the world. Now I'm gonna go surprise Brian with my new look. Hopefully he doesn't pass out from how amazing it is. I went to Blushington and it was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna say like right now, I'm a solid 10 out of five in terms of confidence. I feel good, I'm contoured, I have a skinny face, it's great. I'm so excited for my date to see me. He's gonna be so excited. Uh, hopefully, you better be. I went to Sephora today to get my makeup done. She actually made me feel like a boss ass bitch. She really walked me through the process and helped me really realize the potential that my eyes had. And so yeah, confidence wise, it was a five out of five. I'd like to step it up a notch in terms of my eyes and see how crazy I can really get. What do you think of my makeup? I saw you from a distance coming to my car. I was like, that's Candace. I'm like, that's really good looking Candace. And she's getting in my car. So I'm a lucky guy. <laughs>